back. And for those of you who have the little peel back, you're gonna peel back, rub, pull, rub, pull, rub, pull, and then you leave it like that. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be taking care of yeast infection. And that's yeast infection in men. I have several videos on this channel, but the remedies are geared towards women. And of late, I have been receiving several emails like, you know, us guys do have yeast infection too so what is it you have for us so in this video i'm going to share some information about yeast infection in men and i'm also going to share a wonderful amazing remedy that you guys can use to clear up your infection in one to three days so if you're interested in today's video continue watching although uncommon men can get a yeast infection it usually appears as a small white spots, redness, or a dry peeling rash by itching, irritation, or burning. Men who have not been circumcised are at an increased risk. Now before I begin, let me start by saying I'm making this remedy since I have been getting a lot of requests for it however this is perfect for both male and female okay now guys take a look at what i have here the first ingredient is yogurt and this is a plain and sweetened yogurt you want to make sure it does not have any form of a sugar in it to so make sure to get plain and sweetened yogurt okay our next ingredient is oregano oil. Oregano oil has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Oregano oil is a wonderful oil to use. You can choose to use it by itself. It also will help by itself, but you can mix it with other ingredients like I'm doing here today, since this is really, really strong, to create a wonderful, powerful um treatment for ease now guys i have two essential oil here one is lavender oil and one is tea tree oil you can choose to use both together or you can choose to use either or either they both have antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties and when mixed with the other ingredient this is going to be like really a quick fix okay now the final ingredient and i know you're going to be like oh my goodness it's gonna burn but no not the way I'm using it and this is the reason why I'm using it like this and along with the other ingredient and this is garlic okay I'm using the garlic this way so that it does not burn at all the yogurt is gonna help to ease that stinging effect without damaging the properties of the garlic which is the antibacterial and antifungal and anti-inflammatory properties okay so you're gonna take your garlic and I'm, these are small my garlics are growing out believe it or not seem like I'm not using up a lot of garlic while these grow out. I'm just joking they are um, basically I got them almost like this it's just not even a week okay so I guess I picked up growing garlic which is just as good all right so now I have the garlic here and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grate the garlic you can also choose to crush the garlic if you want to all right so just grate your garlic We're looking for about a, a teaspoon of garlic here, okay? Now you wanna make sure everything is clean, everything is sterilized when you are preparing this remedy. So just grate your garlic. And this amount should be good. Now here is your grated garlic. And here we have the yogurt and I'm using one tablespoon of yogurt now this remedy will go a long way so one tablespoon is good now you do not need a lot of this because this amount will last you for the three days 
and after three days it's going to be a bye bye anyway so no need to make a large batch all right now see what i'm doing i'm mixing this garlic in the yogurt definitely cutting down on the burning effect without damaging the properties of the garlic so now you have this wonderful paste right here and next i'm going to reach for my oil of oregano and i like to shake everything in spite of the fact that it is essential oil and this one have a dropper now the oil of oregano is very very strong you definitely need a carrier oil with this one that i'm using so i'm going to use a um, 0.5 ml from this or probably a pinch four to five drops you know use your discretion on this do not overuse all right next i'm reaching for my tea tree oil and i'm going to do the same thing i'm using about four to five drops of the tea tree oil tea tree oil is very strong and i'm using both the lavender and the tea tree oil so i'm using four to five drops of the lavender oil also all right and now we're gonna blend this together. And this have a really wonderful fragrance. And we're mixing this well. And like I said, all these wonderful oils that I'm mixing in with the garlic is gonna soften that stinging effect of the garlic. So this is really a wonderful, especially for you little teenagers out there. If you're looking for something pretty easy, no form of uh, insertion with this, this will go directly on the sanitary napkin. Just rub it on and put it on and you should be good to go. This treatment is good for both male and female, but I'm making this especially for the males, okay? All right, so now the treatment is finished mixing. However, I suggest that you put this aside for a couple of hours, six to seven hours or so. Keep it in the refrigerator and then it is good to use. It definitely will be infused. Now to use this as a female, as I said, you just apply it the way I just mentioned. Now for you guys, you're going to take a little bit. Do not contaminate the remedy. So just take a little bit. Do not double dip. And you're just going to massage it on the area. Make sure to wash, okay? Wash with warm water before pat dry. Once it is dry, then you apply. For those of you who are regular, you're just going to just rub it all over the top Part. And for those of you who have the little peel back, you're going to peel back, rub, pull, rub, pull, rub, pull, and then you leave it like that. And this is best used at night. So you use it overnight, up on the horizon in the morning, you rinse off. If you feel like you want to go around with it like that, then you put another dose on it, which I suggest you do so that you have it on it continually. And you need to wear a clean underpant. You need to wear cotton on the pant for best result. Okay, clean, fresh, and just use it within three days. After a day or two, it definitely will clear up two to three days and you should be good to go. All right. Now keep the remainder in the refrigerator after three days, this card. Okay. Because we have yogurt in this. So you don't want it to keep any longer. Make sure the containers you're using are very, very clean and sterilized. All right. So there you have it. Your wonderful remedy for getting rid of is both in male and females. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video and leave your comments. And if this was the first time watching, I'm sure you want to see more of these videos. So look below, you're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.